Classic Art Readers, Level One: The Works of Jean-François Millet. Copyright 2023. Seed Learning. All rights reserved. Introduction. Jean-François Millet was a French artist in the 1800s. During this time, French artists were starting to create art with a realistic and natural style. He started painting portraits. However, he is better known for his paintings of nature and everyday life. Most of the subjects in Millet's works were farmers. He also painted the landscapes around him. Early life. Jean-François Millet was born on October 4, 1814. He was born in the village of Grouchy and Greville Hague in France. His family lived in the countryside. They were farmers. Millet was the oldest child in the family. He helped his father with a lot of farm work. At eighteen, Millet moved to Cherbourg to study art. In Cherbourg, he learned from some well-known portrait painters. Four years later, Millet moved to Paris. In Paris, he studied at the famous School of Fine Arts for two years. His teacher there was a well-known artist, Paul Delaroche. Millet's works. To make money, Millet began as a portrait painter. However, he is better known for his landscape paintings. In Paris. Millet met other painters. A number of them formed part of the Barbizon school. Barbizon is a small village just outside of Paris. Artists gathered there. Millet and his wife and children stayed in Barbizon from 1849 until he died. Artists at the Barbizon school created landscape paintings. Their paintings were realistic and natural. The paintings were like photos. Millet favored realistic art. His paintings were not abstract. He tried to show people in nature as they were. Like others who were part of the Barbizon school, Millet also painted landscapes. However, he liked to include people or scenes of village life as well. He said. The human side of art is what touches me most. One of Millet's most important and difficult paintings was Harvesters Resting. He worked on this painting for three years. This was the longest time he spent on any of his paintings. At the 1853 Salon, Millet won second place for Harvesters Resting. This was the first time one of his paintings received an award. His natural paintings of farmers working became what he painted most often. They were the paintings he became famous for. Popularity. Millet became more and more famous even in the later years of his life. At the 1864 Salon. He won first place for his painting *Shepherdess and Her Flock*. In 1867, the World Fair was held in Paris. Millet was chosen to show some of his work at the World Fair. Two of those paintings, *The Gleaners* and *The Angelus*, are now two of his most well-known paintings. They have been printed and copied many times. For his amazing showing at the World Fair, Millet received the Legion of Honor in 1868. This medal is the highest award a person can be given in France. 
Millet continued to do well even in the later years of his life. People continued to pay him to create art for them. He created more than 100 works in the last 10 years of his life. Many people also went to see Millet's paintings and art shows both in Europe and America. People around the world bought his work. This was another sign that people liked his art. Importance Millet's paintings had a great effect on artists who came after him. He inspired famous artists such as Monet, Renoir, and Van Gogh. In fact, Van Gogh studied Millet's work closely. He even copied 21 of Millet's paintings. Millet is an important part of art history. He was important in the move toward creating realistic art. Today, many people still like his paintings of nature and people.